Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and I'll be doing a general reading for you guys. Take what resonates and leave the rest if it's not for you. It's not for you. So the other day I was I was like continuously hearing a song in my head. And it goes like this, it's by Adam Lambert, if I have you like and this part stood up but this uh, the part I mostly the um the chorus so it goes like um if I had you that would be the only thing I'd ever need. Yeah, if I had you, the money, fame, and fortune never could compete. If I had you, life would be a party of the ecstasy. Yeah, if I had you, yeah, one, one, one. <laughs> I just saw that. So yeah, maybe there is someone out here that basically they see you as their end all be all um there is someone out there that thinks that like if they hide you they wouldn't be like need anything or anyone else is like you're it like you're the one for this person this could be anybody in your life so just take it as it resonates and let's see what comes out I'm being guided to do this differently. Kinda nervous, but yeah, let's see what comes out for that. Okay, so the first card out is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups speaks about um, can yeah, speaks about um, celebration, like party, reun reunion, you know, get getting together with friends, things like that. Was like celebrating together. So somebody here could wants to like celebrate with you, right? Like they want to, um, if, if, if this is if someone you are not in contact with, they want to reunite with you. We have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords, this speaks about somebody who is having sleepless nights, somebody who is stressing, somebody um, who is having sleepless nights. This person really wants to communicate with you as the eight of wands is on the of the day. Bottom of the day. Sorry. Mm. Let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's shipped out in the reverse. So the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, this speaks about somebody who is nurturing, somebody who is stable, somebody who is like financially well off. Right? Somebody who is like, you know, somebody who you can rely on basically. Wife material. But this is in the reverse. Or uh, this could be also somebody who is losing money let's see what this is or somebody could be like stressing out about a third party situation only somebody that they hooked up with somebody who they had like uh, yep ten of swords or somebody betrayed somebody this could be you or somebody else the ten of swords mean like ultimate betrayal this mean endings mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Sorry, somebody backstabbed somebody here. We have the star card. Right? The star card means this could be like an Aquarius. It's Aquarius energy, but the star card also stands for healing manifestation um it could be the fact that you stand out somebody sees you as a star okay and this the uh, the queen of pentacles this is um capricorn taurus virgo energy so earth sign energy let's see all right the star card somebody goodly wants to heal like some hurt or betrayal they push you through. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Mm -mm. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. So the Knight of Cups, right? In the upright, this is somebody who wants to come in and make an offer. Right? This person wants to come in and make an offer. And this could be like an uh, offer of like romance. Or an apology, but this is in the reverse. But when I heard this is in the reverse, uh, what I heard is like somebody's walking away from someone. Mm hmm Somebody's walking away from something, someone, or not going towards something or someone anymore. And somebody's losing. Mm -hmm. You have the Queen of Swords, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Queen of Swords is somebody who um, takes no bullshit. As a woman who a feminine energy who is serious communicates clearly she, she speaks the truth it's like don't come here with your bullshit if you are coming you come correct okay. you have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck yeah so somebody could have as i said done some sneaky shit so um betrayed you or somebody else so. you have the hierophant so the hierophant this can speak about spirituality. This could be a religious leader, like a pastor, prophet, whatsoever. The Hierophant could also represent marriage, commitment, or somebody who wants to confess to receive forgiveness. But I think this is about like a commitment of some sort. Let me see. This, uh, Okay, the king of swords flew out, and when the king, all right, it flew out like this, right? Yeah, the king and the queen of swords, the king and the queen of swords, these are two partners who are not seen eye to eye, and it looks like that like this is a divorce. A marriage of some sort. Mm. Somebody could have got caught cheating. Somebody could have got caught <laughs> cheating. Oh, wait, sorry. Somebody could have got. Mm hmm. Cyber funds, conflict, fights, arguments, a war and all. Mm -hmm. In a house, our connection, let's start the bottom of the day. 
could be the guardian emperor. <laughs> Alright, this is a masculine energy. This is also Aries energy. This could be a father or an older male of some sort. Like this could be a boss. Take it as it resonates. Problem people, trouble in paradise. But this is divinely guided with a temperance card. So someone can have a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands. This is also Sagittarius energy. Mm hmm yeah, mm hmm yes. As I said, apparently this is all divinely guided so somebody can have a passionate new beginning with their lover or their soulmate or a twin flame of some sort. So they can have wish fulfillment and judgment is being called. It's like, ooh, the tower at the back, back. It's like, someone here is like no longer interested in someone. It's like, mm -mm. it's like somebody is here, I, I don't see as my wife or her husband. Mm. And somebody could be worrying about like losing money because of this divorce or the fact that they won't be um, financially stable anymore. Right. What else is going on? Mm -mm. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is someone who wants to come in. This could be with communication or somebody who wants to come in. Come in with, <laughs> with passion. I have no other results. Okay. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles speaks about like the ultimate like abundance like money family everything like this is like complete happiness this is also <gasps> sorry generational wealth Seven of swords at the at the um, back of the deck, at the top or whatever. Somebody here could have got caught stealing or doing something they shouldn't be doing, like for money or something like that. Let's see. Or somebody stole from someone. Five of Pentacles. So five of Pentacles means like lack, lack of stability. Somebody who is being left out in the cold. Um, it is hardships. This could be illness also, but I'm not getting that. This has something to do with money. It could be. Regarding a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy who is a Scorpio, maybe. Or the Death card and the King of Cups is out here. We have the Queen of Cups at the back of the deck, too. So this could be like something concerning a what? It was a sign. Oh shit. Hold on. I have to take these back. As I said, somebody could have got caught stealing something from somebody and maybe they tried to cover it up with a lie. Let's see. 
This would be a cancer or this card also means like forward movement or some sort of traveling. Five of Cups, somebody is in regrets. Or somebody is like want to be left out in the cold from this generation or well, because somebody is moving forward with the chariot. Yeah, but somebody wants to hold on four of pentacles the four of pentacles as you can see this man have hold on tightly to him assets in money whatever um this person holds valuable to them this person is holding on they could be holding on to a secret with the high priestess and the three of pentacles about a collaboration and uh, some sort of like team effort over here it could be keeping something a secret this could be a business idea somebody could be planning to cause to cause um four of cups missed opportunity with this um for this king of pentacles Sorry about that, as I was saying, yeah. What else? I have the four of swords in the reverse. So the four of swords in the reverse. Four of swords in the upright means somebody who is like in meditation. Or somebody who is resting but 1717. 17. Um, but this person is no longer like in this meditation contemplation mode. This person could have got enlightened with the hangman right here, or this person was not seeing things clearly, all right? Because with the hangman right here, as you can see, he's upside down. When you're upside down, everything you see upside down, don't it? this i have the king of wands and i have the two of cups right the king of wands is areas you have the taurus energy right the two of cups can speak about a partnership or this is two people who love each other but take it as it resonates, I said. And the King of Wands is like a leader, somebody who is very attractive, somebody who is um, charismatic, somebody who is a leader, and the warrior also. Okay, let's see what's going on. We have the King of Cups out here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The King of Cups is also um, a masculine energy who is loving, caring. Can be somebody, um, this person could also have strong intuition. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what's going on? Gate of Swords, somebody feels stuck.
somebody feels like stuck in their hair this could be like mental or physical jail um why is the eight of swords here why is the eight of swords here hmm. i'm hearing that somebody did not listen to somebody I'm here they I'm hearing like they did not want to listen. Who did not want to listen? Why why is this here? You have seven of cups. The seven of cups can mean like illusion. This could be somebody who has multiple options. Or this could mean like confusion, somebody who is not seeing something clearly. What's going on with this? Oh hangman again. They did not. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Somebody. What? What? What happened here? What happened? Somebody did not want to listen to. Though, like, this person could have possibly not um, listen to their intuition about something or someone. What's happening? What's happening? Because I know I saw the tower card in my head. It's like somebody did not want to listen to somebody about something. Like this person could have been warned with a judgment card right here. It's like somebody was like receiving continuous signs, but they were there. They, like this person was not listening or seeing something clearly, even though the signs were, were there. Right? And we have the, the moon card. The moon card speaks about like deception, things which are hidden, things that um that are not being seen, things that are in the subconscious. It's better for me. It could be about a family, right? And because hmm, because like too much was going on in the background. Ah, okay pertaining to this family this ten of cups like too much was being hidden so everything now is going to be exposed with the tower card somebody was warned that was this hmm. This person did not want to make a decision, two of ones. I'm not seeing the two of ones, but this person could have been indecisive. Somebody did not want to make a decision. What was this decision about? What was this decision about? What was this decision about? Hmm. Should I take this? Yes or no? Should I take this? Let me hold on for this little bit. What, what was this decision about? What was this decision about? Ooh. We have the Empress. This could be a baby mother. Um, a divine feminine or a mother figure. Tell me more about this. What, what, what was this decision about? What 
What was this to see on the board? What was this to see on the board? The Ace of Pentacles come out again, so it did for come out. <laughs> Alright. So somebody did not want to listen. To the guidance that we that they were getting could be about like a new beginning with their divine counterpart, their Empress, the Six of Pentacles. It's like with the Seven of Swords that came out, like somebody was sneaking away from. It's like they're okay. They they okay. I understand. No, okay. That this person did not want to listen. That this person did not want to let go of like possibly other options that they had. Or uh, they were just confused about this empress that they were dealing with, right? So it's like this person Mm. Try to sneak away. I like try to deceive this empress who is actually like their godsend partner. But justice is here. This could be a Libra. The Empress is Taurus and Libra, so this could be a Libra, right? But justice is being served. Justice is being served. Anything else about this? The hangman finally came out. Where is the hangman here? I want to know where. What is this hangman representing? Okay. This is a new cycle. Somebody got enlightened, right? And they like they want to start a new cycle, possibly with this embrace. Mhm. Mm like this person is like possibly seeing things clearly now. Hold on, let me use the other deck. Let me see. Let's see. As I said earlier, take a resonance and leave the rest of this not your story, it's of your story. Upstairs in this new cycle, somebody here is guarded now. Their emotions and their feelings, the person is guarded now. Yeah, and this person is possibly walking away. Oh, eight of cups. This is walking away. Mm 
because it's like this person here, this person here, like with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of the Knight of the Son of Pentacles. This is a slowest moving knight in the deck. So somebody here is like, they, it's like they're basically tired of like waiting around and being like eight of swords stuck in their head about this. And this person wants to move forward. Like they're tired of being left out in the cold or feeling alone. Or, you know? Mm -mm. Yeah, five of swords. Like it's like somebody had this empress in a competition unknowingly, as our people were trying to compete with this divine feminine. Yeah, this caused like a lot of heartbreak. <laughs> Sadness and betrayal and the ace of swords which means truth and clarity. I'm speaking the motherfucking truth right here. This person had an Empress Cindy. Yep. Empress came out and the, the, this what this part wanted to flip over the ace of swords. Yes, this person wanted to keep this um, like Unknowing I had this empress in a com in competition which caused her heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. King of Wands. Father of Wands. Aries is at the towers. Fire sign Leo. Could have been a Leo with a string card. Wanted to like compete with this empress. So hold on. Let's talk about that. What else? Yeah, no. Somebody wants to have a new beginning in love with this empress. Right, uh, somebody here could be crying. No, no, sorry, having a sleepless night. About what they did. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of aces here. We got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. A passionate new beginning. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Pentacles. Like, this person wants a new, like, clean slate. With this thing they say this person could even possibly want like marriage with the higher funds. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's so annoying. Oh, the emperor, the, oh, the empress. Oh, this is divine masculine. Sorry. <laughs> First wants a new beginning to do the by masculine in the the emperor in the building. Yeah, he wanna make things right. It's like this person is not standing up for their self. This is an Aries. Like this person is not standing up. Like this person is not in their emperor energy. Six of sword moving to karma waters. Yeah. I love it when the masculine step up. I love it when they step up and shine out. This person wants to have the ten of pentacles. This is generational wealth. This is everything. Oh shit, I saw it. Mm -mm. There was something being done. And there's eight no denying. There was black magic being done right here. And I'm going to keep these cards out here. Can I find out what this is? 
It can't play with me. Alright, off of that 10 minutes. Can I find the magician on the devil? Hold on, the before. Can I use that deck here? This deck. Come here, please. Please tap into this energy. There was black magic being done. Like evil forms of witchcraft. That's been done. Oh, this relationship. One more. Oh. <clears throat> Transformation card out here is also ascension. I can't find the magician on the bedroom. What is this about? The magician and the devil. The magician and the devil. Understanding. I find the magician and the devil. Hold on. Going with the flow. I find the magician and the devil. Tuning in because I'm getting something. Hold on. Can I find magician and the devil? Moment to moment. I'm telling you, I'm not saying 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 I'm Said one more card. Can't find the magician and the devil. All right, we have laziness. So what I got from the cards, understanding this person, this body that was being done, um, was so someone is like. Someone was doing this money to like make someone like be like sympathetic towards them and like understanding and having this person like just go with the flow of anything what this person said, right? And you have the tuning in and moment to moment. So it's like um As you can see here in this imagery, right? All these shadows or the demons or whatever, this low vibration and entities around this person. Fuck, with all this. Ooh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Yes, this is like the seven of cups energy, but this is like all type of low vibrational energies around this person. So it's like this person is like they like they couldn't think clearly or see things clearly, right? And this person does it like this person just a do. It's like the person they're like they're doing things impulsively, right? Right? And what what they were doing also with the laziness card. Was preventing this person from being able to move forward with a laziness car. Yes, my get it. Oh, my dear. Ah, they're on pity. Everybody's ready to the devil. Let's see, man of wands. Yeah, this is paranoia. Nine of wands. I'm not sure what it looks like. Another other day, nine of wands. Oh, why am I missing that? Where is it? 
As you can see, this person stand up and my look. This person does a look behind him. Right? <coughs> like this person, like, what one is like, like somebody after me or whatever. This person was just like, like had their defenses all the way up. As you can see, try to the magician and the devil. Yeah, but it's been revealed. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Me expose it! And this shit have come to an end. <laughs> Can't bring me. Can't, you cannot play with me. Period. I can't play the motion on the devil, yeah? One more time. One more time, please. One more time, please. I'm not playing with you. Yeah, it's going to cause conflict like this backfire or whatever. It's going to cause conflict. Yep. And cycles are going to be ended. Ooh. I don't know where this is, but. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's it for that. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. No, this person is in their power, in their strength, overcoming obstacles with the strength card. Yeah, and this person wants to take a leap of faith with the full card. Yeah, this person made a decision. I was going to. Oop. It does flick out to eat that car. Yes, death and transformation. Transformation. Okay, anything else? Well, so yeah, the, uh, this person is like resting and meditating and, you know, thinking. About taking this leap of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. say the full card came out. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna end this reading here. Thank y'all for watching this video. I hope I brought some clarity to anyone who was watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye bye.